Hi guys, it's Cindy, aka Disney Queen. Today I thought we would discuss Disney's fifth Disney's? I thought we would discuss Disney's 50th anniversary at Walt Disney World. I must say I am actually excited about this. I am hoping that I can go um, probably not this year but maybe next year um, to Walt Disney World and I'd like to go during the 50th celebration. I was able to go when Disney had its 40th uh, Walt Disney World celebration and my family had a great time. I think it was like uh, one of the last times we went before my last trip. Um, and I remember seeing the castle all dressed up in the gold and it had like um, stained glass looking uh, background. And it's really going to be dolled up this year. As you guys know, I don't really care for the colors of the castle. I do like the embellishments that I see them putting up right now to help with the celebration. So I'm very excited about that. I would hopefully, fingers crossed, I will have an opportunity to see the castle uh, dressed up for the 50th celebration. So I looked up on the parks blog because a lot of times that's where I go to get my information and I saw that it's going to be called the world's most magical celebration and I mean everything to me about Disney is magical I think Disney I get excited um, it's been kind of hard the last couple of years to get excited but this was like the 50th anniversary is something that I'm actually getting excited about and I saw some of the pictures, um, like what Mickey and Minnie were, their costumes for the 50th anniversary, which are gorgeous. Blue is like one of my favorite colors. That's why I'm wearing my blue today. And their costumes are just gorgeous. Um, like I said, I even like the embellishments that they're adding to the castle. Um, I can't wait to see. I, I know that even though it's not Magic Kingdom, I saw the lights that they're going to be putting up at Epcot uh, around the the ball. I mean, that just looks beautiful. I love the new look of Epcot with the trees and the lights as you come into the park. It reminds me of what Epcot used to look like years ago when I first went for the very first time. Um, nothing against the um, legacy um, stones, but I just never liked them in front of um, Spaceship Earth. And so now that they've kind of cleared that out, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, what else am I looking forward to? The rat Ratatouille ride. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think the funny thing is, is that even though I'm excited about the fact that it's the 50th anniversary, I'm more excited about the changes that I'm seeing at Epcot. And uh, last week or a couple of days ago, when I, at the time of this filming, they were talking about the fact that they were getting ready to, they're going to be opening up the new um, Mouse Gears, but it's not going to be called Mouse Gears. And they said that they were going to be opening up um, the Cool Station. I like almost cried when they said that the cool station was going to be torn down because that brings back such fond memories of times at the park with my family um some of you may know epcot is actually my favorite park it's actually my family's favorite park and so when they started the construction and they were tearing down everything like when they tore down the fountain like i was just so upset But I am excited to see some of the new things that's going to be coming. I like what they're, the concept pictures that I've seen of Mouse Gear. I like the fact that they're bringing back the cool station. I don't need to drink the Beverly, but I love the cool station. I, 
I, I can't explain it. It was just something that was a tradition that my family did every time we went. Um, and the first time we went, like, we just thought it was the neatest thing in the world. We didn't actually know about Beverly then, but um, over time, after some research, we started to to um, learn about Beverly. And even though it tasted nasty to us, we always drank it every, like, why do we do that to ourselves? I don't know. but that was what my family did. So I'm excited about that. I love France Pavilion. So seeing the pictures of Ratatouille's ride, they are just, it just looks so beautiful. It looks like it's always been there even though it hasn't. And even the aerial views that I've seen of it, just, I just, I'm excited about riding something that was at the Disneyland Resort in Paris because Paris is like at the top of list of places that I want to go visit along with England and so that whole area I'm just excited to see. Oh the shop at um, Epcot is going to be called New Creation Shop and I think that's kind of funny because I actually have a business called Treasure Creations so that was like the first thing that stood out to me. Um, I can't wait to see all of the new merchandise like the pins and the shirts and the like it's just gonna be I think amazing one thing that I think that Disney is excellent at doing is celebrations I whether you're celebrating your birthday or whether you're celebrating the anniversary of the parks or your anniversary like Disney is the place to go if you're celebrating I mean I've done it many times. We've celebrated anniversaries. We celebrated birthdays. We've been there for some of the openings. Uh, at the time, the openings weren't like the openings they are now. I, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like for Ratatouille because, you know, of course, things are a little different right at this moment. But I, I can imagine it's still going to be exciting. So I'm hoping that by the time I go that it will have died down just a little bit. <laughs> but um, all in all... It's just, it's just an exciting time. I feel like, you know, people are starting to feel comfortable enough to go out again. We're planning trips. Um, we're planning to see loved ones. And so it's almost like this is a perfect time to start the celebration of Disney's 50th anniversary. So tell me what it is that you're looking forward to seeing on Disney's 50th anniversary. Like I said, I know for me, it is definitely seeing the park all um, dressed up for the anniversary, seeing the castle, uh, seeing uh, Mickey and Minnie in a new costume, seeing what type of other things Disney has up his sleeve as far as the celebration. I have not been to Disney now for three and a half years. And so when I go back, it'll be about the same time that it was that I went back the last time. And people always ask me, like, why do you keep going back to Disney? And honestly, it's because every time I go, there's something new. There's something different. And there's going to be so many new things when I go back again that I'm looking forward to. Um, and of course, I cannot wait to ride some of the, some of the classic rides that, that I love at Disney. But for me, definitely, it's the atmosphere of just being in Disney. It, it really is the happiest place on earth. It makes you feel happy the minute you walk through those gates and you see, like at Magic Kingdom, when I see um, the park coming towards me as I'm on the monorail, because I love riding the monorail, when we're pulling up and we see you know, Magic Kingdom and the gates and the castle a little far off. Even when I walk around the corner and I see the castle for the first time in a very long time. I mean, I just love that. Um, at Epcot, I just love walking around the different lands and seeing um, all of the different ways that each land um, is represented. It's like traveling with 
to one place and seeing, you know, 10 different countries, <laughs> it, it just makes me smile. Um, I haven't been to Hollywood Studios since Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek. I haven't been to Hollywood Studios since Star Wars. Uh, I call it Star Wars Land, even though I know it's called, called Galaxy's Edge. I haven't been there since that um, open. As a matter of fact, the last time that we went, um, Toy Story Land wasn't even open. So that is something completely new that will be new for our family is Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge. Um, then, of course, at Animal Kingdom, there's so much to see and do and... I'm hoping to not go when it's hot, and so I'm hoping that means that I'll be able to explore um, Animal Kingdom a little bit more because it's a, a park that we tend to go to and not really stay at for long because it is so hot. And so I'm hoping for maybe a January or February trip or maybe a November or December trip. At least that's that's my hope. Uh, so... Um, I I am excited about the 50th anniversary. I cannot wait to see what is in store for us. And so please let me know what it is that you are looking forward to. Um, have you already been to the parks? If not, are you planning to go anytime soon? And like, what are you, what are you looking forward to seeing? So I hope that you like this video. If you're if you do, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that somebody's watching and that you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out. Also, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? And if you'd like to know when the next video will come out, all you have to do is hit that little notification bell below. So until I see you the next time, have a blessed day. Bye.